What's up guys? Today I bring you a head-to-head -head comparison between two amazing compact Android projectors from the same family. We have the XJimmy Mogo 2 versus the XJimmy Mogo 2 Pro. So let's start off with the prices. The Mogo 2 is currently selling on XJimmy's website for £269. And the Mogo 2 Pro is currently selling for 484 So that's £215 more expensive than the Mogo 2. But what do you get for the extra 200 and is it worth paying extra? Well, you're certainly going to find out in this video. Design-wise, they both are premium in quality. There's no doubt about that. Visually, they look exactly the same in design. You've got the same dimensions. You've got exactly the same weight. They look more or less identical. You have the same single power button on the top and on the back you can see exactly the same layout, same ports and you even have the same transparent speaker window, both having two times eight watt speakers and both supporting Dolby Audio. Now the main physical difference between them apart from the obvious colour can be found on the front of the projector, which some of you may have already noticed. So next to the lens, we have two additional sensors on the Pro version, which is needed for the ISA 2.0, which is their latest sensors for uninterrupted autofocus, auto keystone correction, and lots more. So that is a unique Pro feature. It's the most advanced autofocus, auto keystone correction, intelligent obstacle avoidance, screen alignment, and intelligent eye protection. So that is the main difference you're gonna see physically between them, but otherwise everything else looks the same. And even the remote controls are identical. So they both have Bluetooth voice remotes. So a built-in microphone, built-in Google Assistant button, and the batteries are included. So you get two AAA batteries included in the box. Now let's bring up both specs on the screen to compare so we can see the actual differences between them. So you can see both support DLP technology. Both offer the same lamp life of 25,000 hours. They both have the same chipset and the same 2 gigs of RAM and 16 gigs of internal storage. The brightness is also the same in both. So you get maximum 400 ISO lumens, which converts to 500 ANSI lumens in both projectors. Now, the first difference we are seeing in the specs is the resolution. Mogo 2 is 720p native and the Mogo 2 Pro is 1080p native but they both still support 4K HDR decoding, which is great. Now, in case you're wondering what 4K decoding is in a projector, well, it means if you input a 4K signal, so in our case, later on, we're gonna connect the PlayStation 5, it will get that 4K PS5 image and downscale it to 1080p in real time in the Pro version, and it will downscale it in 720p in real time in the standard Mogo 2 version. So technically it will look better than native 1080p and 720p as it takes a very large resolution and scales it down. So on paper, Mogo 2 Pro should look better as it has a higher resolution, but of course we're gonna be comparing that later in the video. So stay tuned for that. Now both projectors still support 3D content so you can watch 3D movies and videos directly on the projector. They both offer the same 90% DCI-P3 color gamut and they're both running Android TV version 11. It is the official version, so you get official Chromecast and Google Assistant, etc. Now both offer similar technology when it comes to autofocus and auto keystone correction. They both also offer intelligent obstacle avoidance, intelligent screen alignment and eye protection. The difference is the Mogo 2 Pro has the more advanced version of these sensors called ISA 2.0. And additionally, it offers uninterrupted autofocus and keystone correction, which I've already covered in the full review of my Mogo 2 Pro. I'll link that in the description in case you haven't seen it. So that is one of the major differences between this projector, the advanced ISA version 2.0. Everything else is the same. So same HDMI 2.0, 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi, Bluetooth 5.0, the same two times eight watt speakers supporting Dolby Audio and so on and so forth. So how do they compare in real time? Well, let's begin with the fan noises. 
Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is test out the fan noise. Standing right next to the projector, this is the Mogo 2. And you can see the fan noise is around 33 decibels. Okay, and I also tested the fan noise of the Mogo 2 Pro. And the fan noise test for the Mogo 2 Pro, you can expect a fan noise of a slightly higher 36 decibels. And here is the home screen for both projectors, both running the same Android TV version 11. I have both projecting on the same wall and the projection size of both is set to 100 inches. And if you look carefully, you can probably already see the differences between them. The Mogo 2 Pro does look slightly a bit more sharper and in detail. The shades of black is more prominent and the colors are looking a little bit more vibrant on the Pro version. But otherwise, both still looking good and the same software experience in both. And I can confirm that YouTube does support 4K60 with HDR on both projectors. Now I've just paused it on the Lizard as I usually do. Side by side, they both look pretty good. Colors and contrasts are great on both, but if you look carefully, you will notice the Mogo 2 Pro is slightly more detailed. The scales on the Lizard look more lifelike and prominent, but nevertheless, both look bright and clear. And let's just go ahead and briefly switch on the light to see how daytime projection looks on both. And with the same lumens of brightness, both projectors can be used in the daytime, but to really enjoy your home cinema projector, you should really be using it in the dark. Now let's go ahead and play a few more trailers. Pasha, come with me. The wishes of Rosas. Wow. People give their wishes to me, and I grant the wishes, I am sure. <laughs> One man's security detail happened. He's a human. I'm with the president of a country in the middle of a coup. This is the scoop of a lifetime. Okay, PS5 connected to both via HDMI, and here is the video output info, and it shows 4K60 with HDR on both. So let's play some games. So there you have it guys, 
That was my comparison between two impressive projectors by XJimmy, the Mogo 2 and the Mogo 2 Pro. So no doubt impressive picture quality on both. Brightness is very good with 400 ISO lumens. The Pro model has a higher resolution and you can see the results. And in person, the Pro model definitely looks more detailed and higher in overall picture quality. My camera couldn't actually do proper justice to how much better the Pro model looks. So yes, you can see more detail in the Pro model, especially great when playing your video games. Both projectors can also decode 4K and support HDR10. Both have amazing quality speakers built in. The technology is used in both for the automatic picture adjustments and autofocus and keystone are next level. But the Pro model takes these features even further with more upgraded enhanced options. If you want to see my full review of the XJimmy Mogo 2 Pro, then do check out the links in the description box. Meanwhile, if you're thinking of buying one of these awesome projectors for Christmas, then I hope this video helps you decide. Especially if you're on a budget, then I think you cannot go wrong with the more affordable Mogo 2, especially as it has nearly all the features that you get in the Mogo 2 Pro. It gives you nearly the same experience. You're getting the same Android 11 minus that lower native resolution. But if you want those upgraded features with higher resolution and more detail, then the Mogo 2 Pro is the clear winner. I hope you found this one useful. Any questions, you guys know what to do. Meanwhile, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.